Welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the importance of a day close. Okay, why a day close is very important. Okay, even if you are a, sweet, a day trader or you are scalping, you want to be paying attention to a day close. So let me just clarify what a day close means first. Okay, so a day close means that you are looking at a daily chart and you are looking at how price is closed for the day. Okay, so let's say you are looking at this uh, candle over here, this candle here, then you are looking for price to close first, then you, you have a look at it. You do not look at it when it's still moving. Okay, so today I'm looking at the market on a Sunday, so the market is not moving, so, so you don't see it moving. Okay, so this candle actually here, it's a Friday candle. So the meaning of a day close is meaning that you're looking at a day chart, and you're looking at a candle that has already closed, okay? That's the definition, okay? So before I go into the meat of today's video, I want to clarify that, uh, that there are actually three main trading sessions, okay? You need to know this, okay? Because you must understand that in a trading day, for example, on Monday, there are three trading sessions. There is the Asia session, there's the London session, and there's the New York session, okay? So what happens is that sometimes a level might be broken in the Tokyo session, right? The Asia session, it's broken on the London session, but it is not broken on the New York session, right? So maybe, for example, if you look at it over here, if you draw a horizontal line as I did over here on the previous high, and uh, you see that there's actually a, a, a you know, a upper wick here, there was a point in time, you know, if you go to the H4, there was a point in time over here that uh, the price actually closed above the level, okay? But at the end of the day, price actually closed below back the level, right? So this is what happens when, uh, you know, you have three different sessions and one session closes above the level, but the other session doesn't close above the level, right? So in a sense, the market is not very uh, bullish, right? The market is not very, uh, it, it, it doesn't, all three sessions don't agree, right? And when you have this kind of scenario, it's a tough fight and the market, it's, it doesn't move that well, okay? Just think of it this way, okay? If you are, you're having a group project right now of uh, three people, right? And your, your professor asks you to, to, to do a project assignment about a particular topic, okay? Each of your friend has a different, uh, you know, perspective. If all three of you, uh, have a different perspective. One person wants to do topic A, the second person wants to do topic B, and the next person wants to do topic C, okay? Now, you are not going to get a lot of things done because you guys are in conflict, right? Uh, one of it wants his way, the other person wants his way. You guys are not working together, okay? So, it's the same thing in trading over here. You have the Asia session, you have the London session, and you have the New York session, okay? When the three sessions do not agree, then you do not have a very clean movement. Okay, so you want to have the three sessions agree. You want the Asian session to say, okay, this resistance is broken. You want the London to agree that, yes, I agree with the Asian session that the resistance is broken and then comes into the New York. The New York says, yes, I agree. It's, it's kind of like three people in a project group, uh, three of them agree that, yes, this is, this is indeed broken or this is indeed supported. So how do you see this, okay? That, that is the concept, right? I just explain the concept to you, okay? So now let's talk about uh, practical. Let me show you in the chart why this is so important, okay? Why this is so important in preventing yourself from uh, trading, you know, breakouts that fail, right? It's also an excellent way if you know how to use it correctly to uh, use it as fake out. So for example, in this case, you, you know that the daily level is this swing high, but price on the day chart hasn't closed above, right? Because the day chart, you know, it's, it, it closed on the dot and it, it didn't manage to push higher. Even though in the lower time frame, the H4 and H1, price actually closed above, right? As, as I showed you over here, right? So you, you wouldn't have, you know, you wouldn't have bought this over here if you were looking at the day chart. Okay, if you're waiting for a day close, right? If you trade into the, you know, probably the euro session and you bought here, you will have lost money. Okay, so it's very important to look at the daily chart. Okay, so let me give another example. I mean, there are tons of examples over here. Okay, you can look at this again. 
Okay, so you have a recent low here. Look at all these uh, lower wicks over here. Okay, now if you're new to trading and you know you don't know how to read candlesticks, then uh, make sure you watch my other video about um, how to read candlesticks. Okay, in fact, I have a free day trading guide for you with a cheat sheet of you know the candlestick patterns and how to read it. So grab all those good stuff and in the link below. I'll leave a link in the description. Just grab those, so it's free. Okay, so over here you can see that the lower wicks price actually penetrated the level, right? It, what it did was actually it took out a lot of uh, stop losses. A lot of people put a stop loss below this ring low. So price love to do this. Okay, price just love to take take out the stop losses. Okay, that's how the market works. The market is designed to cause maximum pain. Okay, the market always goes to where the stop loss is. Okay, but anyway, that's uh, me digressing. So back to uh, this. Okay, you can see that uh, this zone over here. Uh, if you switch to the H four. Okay, at one point in time, price actually broke it. You see this, you see this, you see this. Price went below in the H4 and closed below uh, the support. So, you know, breakout traders, they, they get all excited and they say, hey, no, you know, I got I to gotta, I gotta do enter short because it broke a key support. Okay, but a H4 close is not as strong as a daily close, okay? So always remember, the higher the time frame, the stronger the signal, okay? So in, a, in, in this case, a daily close, it's more powerful than a H4 close, okay? A weekly close is more powerful than a daily close, and a monthly close is better than a weekly or daily close, okay? That's a simple rule. I'll repeat it one more time. The higher the time frame, the, the close of the candle, that time frame it's more powerful than the you know the lower time frame okay monthly is more powerful than daily okay so you want to be careful this is how you avoid trading fake outs okay so let me just show you one final example first okay then uh, we can conclude this video let's see okay you can look at this one over here this one is so very nice okay so it's, this is rather straightforward for this candle over here. Okay, this candle over here. Oh, uh, actually, let me just draw a horizontal line until it be clearer. Uh, this candle here. Okay. So what happens is let's uh, let's do a bit of a price action reading. This is a swing high. This is a swing low. Swing high. Swing low. Price broke the swing low. Retrace back up to retest. If you change to the trend line, you get the perfect resistance level. Let's teach this in some of my other videos. Switch your line chart, find the turning point, switch back to your candlestick. You see that price is resisted exactly at this point over here. Okay, so pretty straightforward stuff. But what happened is that over at this candle, I'll just delete it. Okay, this candle over here, price broke above, okay, in the lower time frame. Right, so you see it's always the same pattern. What happens is that the lower time frame, it was broken. This was broken. Price did trade above. H4 candle is above, okay, definitely it closed above. Let me just show it to you. Okay, it's quite far back. So you see price had this uh, very nice engulfing pattern here, right? Very nice candle, which I think tricked a lot of people because they'd be like, oh, it's so bullish, you know, it's clear above a, you see this is a support, resistance, come back here, people say, oh, it broke above, let's buy. Okay, but in the day, right, price doesn't close above this level. Okay, that's very important. Price doesn't close above that level. So let me just show it to you again. Yeah, it's here. Okay, so it didn't close above. So when it doesn't close above, you know, it is kind of like a fake out. You could trade the opposite direction or you could just uh, wait for, you know, price to, uh, price to break clearly, like do a clean break, then you take an entry. Okay. So to sum up this video, I don't want to make this video too long, right? You always want to be pay attention to the day close, even if you are a day trader, okay? Because you want to avoid these traps, whereby the lower time frame says that a level is broken, but you know, um, in the higher time frame, the day didn't close, right? There's no day close above the level, so you want to be fixated on uh, the day chart, even if you are a you know M15 trader, you are H1 trader, okay? In fact, if you are new, you're still struggling. I encourage you to trade using the daily chart first because it's the easiest and it's the cleanest. It's not as messy as you know the H4 chart or the H1 or the M15. 
So this is a time frame that you want to stick with. You want to stick with swing trading first if you are new. Okay, so that's it for this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are new. If you have not, if you are new, download a copy of the daily trading guide, and I'll see you in the next video.